The worst game ever made is Card Against Humanity because it's a, it is a game for horrible people. The worst board games ever made that I played, unfortunately, was Level 7 Escape from Privateer Press because, let's face it, um, you guys are a miniatures company and it should have started off with miniatures in the box to begin with. My brother-in-law is going to kill me, but uh, the worst board game I have, to, have encountered, I would say, is Time's Up. Only in the fact that the copy, at least I know that my friends play, is circa maybe the two, early 2000s. And it they kind of tend to pick things like, oh, I know nobody's going to get this uh, composer, so I'm going to pick that one and then just throw everything off. To me, it's just really not a fun experience. And it, I mean... I should probably explain, Time's Up is a game where you have cards, it's kind of like charades, only the first round is you can say whatever you want to get them to say the word. Next round, it's one word, and then the round after that, it's motioning, onomatopoeia, things like that. So that has to be the one I'm not my best. The worst board game has got to be Trump the Game. It's, uh, it's, it's just the worst board game for a lot of board reasons. Board game is probably Monopoly. I don't, I don't know how anyone can debate this. All right, so I'm going to tell you a story about the time that my friend, who was a librarian, tried to convince me that The Great Gatsby is the greatest American novel. And I told him that that's ridiculous. And rather than argue about it, we decided to let the universe itself decide through the board game Candyland. Because there's no decisions involved, it's purely random, and so it, it could be seen as an expression of the will of creation itself. So uh, we played a game of Candyland, and that's how I can tell you with authority that The Great Gatsby is the greatest American novel. Uh, Gatsby Monopoly. Worst board game ever. Uh, it's a close one. Monopoly might be up there, and it's not that Monopoly's a bad game in design. It's more of you always start as a good time, but it ends up as a bad time. So. To me, one of the, the worst type of board game you can have is when you try to force a theme on a game that just does not exist. Let's take, for example, let's take a game where they try to say a regular D6 is somehow a gladiator of combat that's put inside some sort of plastic bowl and becomes an arena. Strike is the worst game. Shut this down right now. The How strike dare is you, the Marty? worst game ever made. It just makes well, zero listen, sense. This is improvement. You're at least calling it a game. We're working on you. I'm wearing him down, folks. I'm wearing him down. <laughs> Strike. Last year, we tried a board game that was about a cat in the galaxy. And it was just really weird. Like, everything was centered around cats, and it was really terrible. Worst board game ever made? Trains. I don't understand it. I, I, it's a Mayfair game, and I don't understand the, the game Trains. Sorry. The worst board game ever would have to be Candyland. I like the aesthetic, but it's, it's nothing. I am not a fan of Monopoly. I don't know. That's a really hard question. Apples to apples. A game, oh, Munchkin. It's the same game every time. It's the same. It's exactly the same. There's no variation in Munchkin. That's my least favorite game, I think. So the worst game ever is, I don't even remember because I just cleared them from my brain. Uh, the, what is the worst board game ever made? Uh, Monopoly. It always ends the same way with a board flip. It never ends any other way. You can make friends and totally lose them inside 20 minutes. That game is awful. They need to get rid of it. But then again, it was made to... It's a social game. It's actually meant so that people can understand how bad... Oh, what they call landlords are. It's actually, when you really get down to it, it's actually a really deep game. But it's a friendship killer. Ever made is anything that drew place. Anything that Drew plays. That's all I got for you. I, I would have to say, um, it so <laughs> this is around the context in the, or on the subject of relationships. Um, I played diplomacy, Avalon Hills diplomacy, quite a bit when I was in high school and college. And um, at some point, after uh, after uh, having uh, seen friends completely fr or, or friendships being completely destroyed, uh, in the in the I guess in the. <laughs> For the purpose of personal relationships, diplomacy might be the worst board game of all time. 
in terms of being, being able to destroy relationships. The worst board game is Risk because it never, never ends. You keep playing and playing and playing. You think you're going to win, but then it goes on and on and on. That's the worst. <laughs> I think the worst game is Monopoly. I think... I, I'm sure there's worse games, but Monopoly is just... It's just real bad. Like... I'm gonna knife to, fights. I know it's going to get someone mad at me, but I don't like Munchkin. Just because it turns into a tire, like everyone kills everyone after it. You don't have friends after Munchkin, so. <laughs> yeah. So Munchkin and Monopoly. Okay. Yeah. Monopoly is probably the worst board game ever. Just because it takes so long and, yeah, I don't think people enjoy it. So probably the worst board game I played is one we didn't really understand the rules because there were a lot of them and there were a lot of pieces and I didn't have the patience to figure all of it out. I know some people love that, but that's just not hey, up my alley. Because it never ends. It is fun and then it just progressively gets worse and worse. And then you have no fun. <laughs> Classic risk. The can never forget the one guy just stalling in one land and then eventually wiping everyone. Um... Actually, I think I saw it online recently. It's Ziggy, the board game, based on the cartoon character Ziggy. All it is is going around the board to see who can make it around once. That's it. Nothing happens. There's no money, no points. <laughs> Just rolling the dice. <laughs> never played it myself. Never want to play it. <laughs> I'm going to go with, and this is going to be bad, Connect Four. I can't deal with it. It's not really a board game, but it's something I played in my youth as a kid. And so, yeah, that's what I... And, of course, my friend disagrees, but I'm going to go with Connect Four. Uh, I would say that the worst board game ever is Candyland, but my six-year-old son and three-year-old daughter would really disagree with me. So, I don't know. I don't really know. I haven't really found one that, like, I really hate. I guess, like... The only thing is, like, I don't like Monopoly because you never finish the game, but other than that, never really hated one. I would have to say, because there are some ch cheesy board games that you, you, you appreciate, like the, like the things that you had, the cheap pieces of crap that you had growing up in childhood, like uh, my girlfriend picked up, uh, you know, like had an old game that she brought from home. It was a vampire game that had a little light that turned from red to blue to show that it was daylight and had little, used little lighting effects so that the board changed. There was one game that we had just gotten cheap from like Barnes and Noble that no one had ever heard of called Bring Out Your Dead. And the concept was that you're in a graveyard and you are about to inherit a massive fortune, uh, and you may or may not have done away with your your in-laws to be the inheritor. But you, the the will states that you can only get the money if you bury the corpses of your your family properly. So you are competing against other people for this will, and they are basically trying to d d uh, dispose of all the corpses that are in this graveyard, and you're trying to get them into a proper burial plot. It just, it was weird, it didn't really make sense, and it kind of wasn't fun, so it just sits in our closet and does nothing. I have no idea, because I won't play it. I block those out of my mind and move along. Good games get played over and over and over again. I hate Catan because there's too much riding on the dice rolls and you can get an ideal placement and still have nothing you can do when the dice don't fall your way. Uh, she loves Catan, that's why she hates my answer. <laughs> I'd probably say Shoots and Ladders because I'm tired of playing it with my with, small children. I'll say, until I, until I began to win at it, the worst game for me was life because I always used to play life as a kid with my family, and my sister used to kick my butt all the time that we played it. She would always get a full family and get to the end and win the game, and I hated that game. I know it's a very popular game amongst many communities, but not in my community. I don't know if I've ever finished a game of Monopoly. So, Monopoly. <laughs> uh, in terms of worst board game, it'll be personal preference. Uh, it's what you make of it. At the end of the day, sitting down with friends, even if it's a crappy game, um, you can still have a good experience. So I don't think that's a, uh, necessarily a bad game at all. Cottage Garden is just, it's, I, I know it's controversial, but it's just, it's boring. 
Oh, what was that puzzle game me and you played? It was really that bad. It was, it was a puzzle game. I hate puzzles, like hardcore puzzles. So yeah, I was having none of it. it I don't remember. I don't know what it was called. I'm sorry. It was, it was, it was so, it was so horrible. I don't remember the name of it. That's that's how horrible my first puzzle game was. I'm blocking it out. Monopoly is the worst board game of all time. It's too long and makes people hate each other. I've, I can't say I've ever played a board game that was except like so bad that I just didn't want to play it anymore. Uh, there are games that I certainly don't want to play anymore. Uh, games that I've played so much that you know. Stuff like, and, and I hate to say this, Settlers of Catan, things like that, that they're popular games. It's a great game. I've just played it so much that I'm tired of it, you know? Well, I have to say one of the worst was for sure was Edison & Co. by Gold Zebra. Um, the year it came out at the gathering, if you didn't play it the first time with somebody, you weren't going to get to play it because nobody was playing it twice. <laughs> so we played the whole game. Nobody scored a point, and I won on some crazy tiebreaker rule. So the whole game was basically nothing, and I won. Well, that's really tough to say because there's lots of games that are just horrible. But I will say uh, a game that a lot of people really, really enjoy that I cannot stand and I just find it boring every single time I sit down and play is Pandemic. <laughs> what else do you want me to say? I don't know. It's just it's just not my... Uh, and, and, you know, Pathfinder, the card game, ain't great either. But uh, there you go. That, that's... That's, I don't want to trash on games, though, because a lot of people really, really like those games, and they, and they should. Uh, only play games you love. Why, why waste time playing games you uh, don't like? Wow. I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't have an answer for that. I, said, I, can't, I, can't, I can't answer that question. Sorry. <laughs> I, I'm pretty new into board gaming overall, so I don't really know. Um, my, my wife makes me play the game of life a lot on her phone, which kind of counts as a board game. I kind of have gotten really tired of playing that one. So that would be my worst board game ever for me. What is the worst board game ever and why? Oh, come on. Nah, I don't have an answer to that. I'm not going to answer that one. What's the worst board game? There's always a board game for somebody. All right? Come on. I don't want to answer that. As a designer, I don't feel right criticizing other people's work. Um, but, you know, I mean, I've obviously played games like Monopoly and, and stuff that have gotten old over time. Um, I wouldn't consider it the worst game, but definitely the game I like to play the least just because how long it takes and how many fights break out and how many tables I get have to replace. So that's that's what I would answer for that question. And I absolutely don't want to answer this question because I just want to speak about what I like and what not I dislike. And what is the worst board game ever made and why? So you are trying to make me into troubles, yes? Uh, Monopoly. I hate Monopoly. I know the Hasbro has a very strong uh, lawyer, so I can be in a trouble, but I hate this game very, very strongly. Um, I'm a big fan of, uh, of bad games. Uh, I really, really love... Uh, what's it? Um, uh, Magical Athlete by Z-Man Games. Um, this, game is, this game is not good, but it's, it's so good. Um, there is there is a certain thing about uh, games where the rules fall away and you're just having fun with friends. And I think that bad games uniquely do that. And Magical Athlete is my favorite whenever I get too snooty about mechanics or about gameplay or all these constructs. I go back and I play Magical Athlete and I just roll the dice and move along the board and that's it. And it's great. It's great fun. Wow. That's really putting me on the spot there, isn't it? Uh, there are several that I did not like, that I really didn't like, but one that really st stuck with me, I just can't remember the name of it. Wow, do you remember the name of it? Uh, what was the name of it? It was, uh, I hate to do this, but um, it was uh, Kurt's game. You remember? Smirk and Dagger. What was it called? Dead Last or something like that? Sorry, Kurt, man. I just did not like that game. I felt like that was just a little too mean-spirited for me. Uh, not that I'm, you know, I can handle a mean-spirited game, but I just didn't get that one at all. It fell flat for me. Real sorry there. But hey, he asked. <laughs> it's not the worst board game ever made, though. I'm sure there's one that's worse. What is the worst board game ever made? So I definitely made a game the other day, and it was terrible. 
I don't know that I can. I, I, I have to answer this, you say. <laughs> I was going to say Candyland, but that's probably not even true because I started my kids off at like age two with that. It's good to learn turns. I'm not going to answer it. <laughs> game of Thrones, the board game, is the worst game ever because every single person in the game needs to be of equal skill or the whole game falls apart. I forget the names of the games that Tom has been involved with, so I won't go there. Um, the worst one is probably uh, the big acquire. I don't forget what it's called. It's Mega Acquire, I think it's called. And it's, it breaks a choir in every way that you could possibly break a choir. It is atrocious and horrendous, and uh, the person should never have published it. It's a very, it was a very sad day when I saw that game. What is the worst board game ever made, and why? The worst board game ever made. I don't know. I don't even know if I have an answer to that one. Worst board game ever made. Oh. I'm sorry, Jason. I don't, I'm not sure if I even have an answer to that one. I don't know, what, what do I say? Oh, geez, oh, yeah, I can't, I can't think of the worst board game ever made. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know as a professional game designer if I can answer that one, what, what the worst board game is. I mean, there's kind of a professional code where you talk about the good stuff, but saying something is bad is kind of uh, an, an unwritten law in, in game design. So, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to pass on the second one. The worst board game ever. Well, that's a couple of the ones that are up in my attic. Chupacabra the Dice Game. Have you played it? If you have, then you know why. I don't know. I, I suppose I have not played it yet. <laughs> uh, but uh, I don't want to name any because maybe I don't, didn't like some game, but there can be people that like it. And if, even if the game appeals even to few people, then for these people it is a good game and uh, doesn't matter. It doesn't uh, appeal to others. Oh, man, I'm going to have to mind my mind for this one. The, the Crazy Cat Lady game. I played that game, and it was awful. You can literally go in a continuous loop forever, and it drives you crazy, and there's crazy cats in it, and I don't like it. And I'm sorry to people that enjoy that game. I don't like criticizing stuff like this, but I, I, I think I'm going to take one for the team on this one. <laughs> And the other question is, what is the worst board game ever made? And I'm going to take the wimpy way out of this, because I don't really rank games from like best to worst or whatever. I have my favorites, but I don't, I've never even really considered what I would call the worst board game ever made. It just doesn't, it's not something that's important to me. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.